Did you know that you can do keyword research on Gemini? Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to find important keyword metrics using Gemini and then get tips and recommendations on how you can write your article and then actually write the full article on Gemini AI. If you haven't used Gemini before, it is barred, rebranded by Google, and it's really, really good. And I think you're able to get much more up-to-date and accurate keyword metrics compared to ChatGPT because again, it's Google. So I first started off by asking the AI if it's able to do keyword research it does say that it's able to do keyword research they give me some tips to follow like identifying seed keywords generating keyword ideas analyzing search volume and so on and then i told it that the seed keyword is accounting in canada so that's a great start that it told me and then it was able to generate keyword variations or synonyms and phrases for that specific keyword so we see canadian accountants we see some long tail keywords um, for that specific keyword and then finally, I told it to find me low competition keywords with decent search volume for this seed keyword, which is accounting in Canada. So again, it kind of walks through some process of how you can do so, some illustrative examples and so on. So finally, what I did was, which really worked was, I told it to create a table for the seed keyword and related keywords for this term. And I want you to have an estimated search volume, ranking difficulty, CPC, and possible blog post topics. So if you're doing keyword research and you don't want to go through this full process, then what I would recommend is I would recommend to tell it to create a table for the seed keyword and then just insert your seed keyword in this section. Um, so whatever the seed keyword is you're going after, and then just tell it to create a table with estimated search volume, ranking, difficulty, CBC, and blog post topics and whatever other information you would need within your research. So it went ahead and it was able to get that information. It did say that it was able to get that information from some paid tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush, but I'm not entirely sure if it is um, actually up to date. We'll actually check it a little bit later in today's video to see if this information is up to date. But what I liked was it was able to generate me that table. So we have a nice little table here in terms of keyword research. But what is very, very unique about Gemini is that it's connected to Google, right? So you can use it with Google Sheets and Google Docs. Docs. So I was actually able to export this into a Google Sheets. And as you can see here, it created a spreadsheet. So if you're doing keyword research and if you don't have access to some of the bigger keyword research tools, it looks as though you will be able to do keyword research using Gemini. So for example, accounting in Canada, it's telling us that the monthly search volume is 500 to 1000 uh, searches per month. So let's actually go ahead and open up Ahrefs and let's validate this information. Okay, so I've searched up accounting in Canada. The search volume is 50, traffic potential is 10, and the global volume is 600. So it's a little bit less in terms of the search volume on Ahrefs compared to what we got back from Gemini. But again, search volume estimates are essentially, that's what they are, they're estimates. Every single search tool that you use, whether it be SEMrush or Ahrefs, they're all guesstimating. Right, so a little bit off. Let's take a look at the, the difficulty. So difficulty, it looks to be an easy keyword to rank for. So it did say that the difficulty is a little bit harder. CPC is $3, which is kind of in the middle between the estimate from Gemini. So that is correct. Let's go ahead and do another keyword, CPA Canada. Okay, so CPA Canada is a hard keyword. 32, um, we see that this is a high keyword so this is also saying that it's a hard keyword for us to go after in terms of the cpc it's a dollar gemini has it a little bit higher than that and then we have some possible blog post topics so again as you can see it's a little bit off but again if you don't have access to a keyword research tool then this may be an easy way and a free way for you to start doing keyword research on your specific website so once you have the keyword let's say for example we wanted to write about accounting in canada then what we can do is we can then ask the ai to either give us more related keywords that we need to include within this article or we can start getting some tips on how we can write to rank for this specific keyword so i've told her that this is the keyword that we'll be going after accounting in canada can you let me know what i need to do to write the best SEO optimized article to rank for this keyword include a list of related keywords that i need to include within the article and a list of keywords that i need to include within the header so as you can see here, we're getting some more customized information here. And then we can use this information to write the full article. So as you can see, we got a lot of really useful SEO optimized information here in which we can use to write our article on this topic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and tell it to use that information to write the full article. 
Here's the full optimized article that we're able to get back from Gemini AI. As you can see, it's very easy to read, very skimmable. There's a lot of lists and it does have some pretty relevant information. I would say it's a little bit short for my likings, but overall, it's not a bad blog post. We can then go ahead and ask it to expand the article if we wanted to make it longer, um, if you're worried about length. But overall, I would say that this is a pretty good strategy in which you can use to find keywords and then use those keywords to write your article. So again, if you're going back to keyword research i would recommend just using the prompt i want you to do keyword research for this seed term and add whatever term you like it to do keyword research for then i want you to create a table of low competition easy to rank for keywords related to whatever that seed keyword is on the chart include the search term the search volume difficulty to rank cpc and possible blog post topics and if we scroll down here as we can see we will be able to get a nice sheet and a nice keyword list that you can play around with. And you could always go ahead and export that to Sheets. And if you want more keywords, just tell it to add more keywords. So as you can see here, we're getting some pretty decent keywords. So container garden in for beginners, raised garden bed plants. Again, let's go ahead and validate these keyword ideas quickly. Okay, so 800, um, that seems to be about correct. It's a little bit less but the difficulty is a lot harder on Ahrefs compared to Gemini. So I definitely would take some of these results with a grain of salt, but this is a great way for you to start getting some keyword ideas. And you, then you can go ahead and validate these ideas on um, an Ahrefs or any other keyword research tool that you have. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.